So in this tutorial we're going to show you how to load JavaScript from the bottom. Um, as SD is configured from the start, JavaScript will load in the head. Uh, so we fired up a new instance using Material UI. You can see it here. Um, so what we're going to do is move JavaScript into the bottom of the body. So you're going to jump first into config and go to site settings. Click on developer. And then here you're going to have this automatically include JavaScript in the head. You want to turn that off. So that's going to remove JavaScript from the head. And you'll see that JavaScript isn't working. If I turn this back on, see the material UI default JavaScript will then allow this menu to work. So that's what we'll use to test. So we're going to turn it off and we're going to jump into the editor. Uh, and the first place we want to go is the loader. And the loader has like, this is the very end of the loader is the last thing that loads in the body. So this is where we're going to add our script tag and our source. We're going to use Parsley to auto-generate that link. So we got site dot get js url. And we're going to test this by refreshing. And you'll see that JavaScript's loading. So if we look at the source, we see it loading here. And it's not in the header. So you just see it down there. Um, you could use this direct path here, but we always append the query for busting cache. So every time you save JavaScript, it adds another version to it, like v equals. Um, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just purely the use for caching. Uh, and you get that by calling this. You could just straight do this if you wanted to, but it's better um, that way your cache gets busted. So if you want to add specific um, JavaScript files individually per page load, you can also do that. So everything built here is compiled into a single JavaScript file. Um, but you can actually create an endpoint that's just JavaScript. And let's do that. So we'll just uh, test and we'll say test.js or, I don't know, single.js. Uh, so I'm going to create. <clears throat> and for this, I'm going to just create an alert to test it. save that and you'll notice if I refresh this I don't get anything. So now I could choose to go to the loader and say I want to put that below this. I'm simply going to just call it text versus test. There we go and we'll refresh this. Alright so now you see my alert is running. Um, so if you want to do this per page, for example, um, and we just have a home page here, but let's create a, a new content model, call it test page, create page. And we're going to just call it give it a title. It's just a single field in that model. Uh, we're going to go edit it real quick in the editor. So test page. So te I created this because this will create um, a new view. I'll show how it works to load an individual file on this view. We'll jump on over to the editor. Uh, and we cut this, so now you see we have this new view called test page. I'm going to load it there. So I just paste it in there, and I might as well just create an H1 just so we know we're there. Okay, so we f refresh our preview. We should see test page over here in our auto nav. So now we're on home page, we're not going to get that alert, but when we go to test page, we should get that alert. 
and there it is. So here's an example of working without the uh, auto creation of JavaScript in the head.